Hey there, Lori Painter, and I am back sharing with you my inspirational video series where I'm talking about the tools and the resources and the stories that I have used to lift me up when I wasn't feeling phenomenal myself. And now I am sharing them with you. So today I wanted to talk about the five levels of prayer. And I heard this on Hay House Radio from Alan Cohen. He was talking, I actually recorded the audio and I have it on my phone. I wished that I could somehow put it up, that audio on my blog. So if I'm able to do that, go check out the audio from Alan Cohen talking about the five levels of prayer. I'll summarize it for you now, but if you wanna hear the real deal, go to lifebylori.com, look underneath this video and see if the audio's there. So if that doesn't work, let me tell you a little bit about how he breaks it down. The first level of prayer, he says, is to be a beggar of God. So that is where, oh please, 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 <laughs> I'll do anything and you know, just please, please just help me with this thing right? And I know, I remember distinct memories as a teenager having that exact type of prayer. And I think even in my early 20s. And then the second level of prayer is, he says, is to be a servant of God. So that's a little bit higher because there's got a little bit more power to that because you're not just begging, you're saying, how can I serve? What can I do to have this prayer answered? What is it for me to do? And that, so level two prayer is to be a servant of God. The third level of prayer that Alan Cohen says is to be a child of God. And that has even more power than a servant because it's almost like you think about it that when you're a child of anyone's you will inherit whatever your parents have so if you're a child of god then you will inherit the kingdom of god and so whatever is his will or god's will eventually be yours so that's another level higher that is to be a child of god then he says that the fourth level of prayer is where you are a lover of God. And that is where you go about your day um, making love all day long, you know, in the presence of love. But then the fifth level of prayer, he says, is to be one with God. And when I heard that, it's to realize that all of us have that divine spark within us. All of us have that divinity, that energy, that within. And so if it's within, then we have the ability to experience those things. So I remember I wrote on my mirror in lipstick in my bathroom, really large. I wrote, be still and know that I am God. And I wrote that and whenever I was feeling freaking out, nervous, whatever was going on in my life, when I read that, it completely calmed me. So the reason that I'm sharing this with you now is when you think about the power of your thoughts, your words, your intentions, your prayers, those five levels really help me understand where am I coming from and how can I elevate it to the next level so that I'm not always a beggar, I'm not always the servant, you know? And to see that as my paradigm, my perspective elevates, so does my experience around me. So if I wanna have more power in my prayer, then I'm gonna to try to go to the top perspective first and radiate that and see what shows up from there. So hope this was beneficial to you. Maybe if you have a prayer practice, this will enlighten you. If not, this may inspire you to start, to start doing so. And I will be sharing with you another video tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.